so um yeah let's do this leveling up malarkey so um i think it's probably best for me to do it one at a time um just because it's probably easier have you guys got your dnd beyonds up yep fab 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 i went in um this morning and made sure that you'd all added your xp to which none of you had done, so I've added it for you. <laughs> you said you were going to do it, so... Oh, did yeah. I? Oh, right, yes, okay. did, actually. My apologies, so... then. Slap Don't on you the wrist. Come Slap at on the wrist. At us. <laughs> Don't you come at us. Um, There's that parental guilt tripping again. <laughs> yes, I know. God. God help my children. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I've done it all for you, as, as promised. Um, all right, so I cool. guess who wants to go first? Any volunteers? Ladies first. Go on then, Anina. Okay. Do you first, right? Yeah. So, um, the very, very first thing that you are going to need to do is mm -hmm. um, your hit dice. Now, I'm going to give you a choice here. Okay. You can either take the average, with the suggested number, or mm -hmm. like a '90s game show, you can gamble it all and roll for it. I mean, we're going to have to gamble it all, aren't we? <laughs> Like the best no viewing experience. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna what? be like the worst tank in the world with like level ten, to, like... twenty hit points. Last tank. Well, I mean, you can you can give it a give it a damn good try. Anyway, that, that would make the uh, the misogynist sweat dream if I was a tank at twenty hit points on level ten. <laughs> she, I told you, women can't play D and D. <laughs> <laughs> So you're okay. gonna roll for it then? Yes, I'm gonna roll for so it. So it's a, a D10, uh, yeah. Just a, is it D10 plus your Constitution modifier? Or is it just purely the D10? I can't. Surely remember. it's Constitution modifier as well. I, th I would have thought so. Let me consult the Book of Hands. Consult the um, Book of Hands. Okay, I've got a, new. A, I've, got, I've got brand new dice. So each time you gain a level, you gain. My brother sent me. A care package Ooh. and they're really cool. They're Very like, nice. I see yeah, dice. It is it is plus your constitution modifier. Okay. Um sorry, could I, see, could I see your shiny new dice? I was busy consulting the rule book. I just had a thought. Could we have a jingle when we consult Ooh. the book of hands? I was literally just thinking that. Could we have a it's theme literally song? Ice dice. And the best Let's thing. Book the... of hands. Shout yeah. out to my brother. <laughs> Let's consult he the book it. of hands. <laughs> He sent it in a plushy mimic. Oh, yeah. that is oh, that's so, so cool. cool. I know, I love that it. is so cool. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so yeah, okay. so it's a, a D10 and it is Come plus on. your constitution modifier. So. If this fucks up, I'm going to blame my brother. Is this the first time you've rolled it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's that's a bad move. <laughs> don't, don't you start. Don't you start. Okay. <laughs> At least my constitution modifier is plus four. So... Uh, Five hit points. We're is all that dead. With your constitution modifier. Yeah, of course it is. It's not okay. too bad. Though. Well, that's not terrible. It's not, that's not terrible. It's it's halfway house. It's it's yeah. ever so slightly under the average it's, for the roll yeah. at least. So you know, live dangerously. That's my motto. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and I <laughs> and I guess for for you for for level two, it's actually a fairly simple thing, isn't it? You get your action surge, I believe. Yes, I do. And I think that's it. So, mm. do you, um, Does that get added on to D&D Beyond? So, if you go into D&D Beyond and then you go in, uh, bring up your character sheet and mm -hmm. then if you then, um, where it's got the experience bar, if you click on that. Yes. And then it will bring up the, the sidebar with all of the yep. manage levels and things. Got it. Manage so levels. If, yeah. So, if you go into that and then I think it's like character details or something like that it's like the second or third pain uh, page um along if that makes sense class features yes level class... oh well i go up a level there we go yeah so then yeah it yeah will... actions action so if you uh, if you go look at the top there's a bit where you change your hit points as well so yeah. pop that into there um so it'll ask you for the rolled amount and any modifiers and things so pop that in Cool. And then it will give you the action surge, which for you means that you get to take an additional action um, on top of a regular action bonus action uh, once per short or long rest. Very handy. That's very handy. Very handy indeed. Okay. Nice, simple one. 
Um, I would, if there was a lot of choices for you to make, I would have asked if you wanted to do it in secret, but as you don't really have any choices to make. Not yet, but I get action <laughs> surge. So. An action surge is really cool. Um, okay, so I'm guessing... Well, actually, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make a choice for you. So... My hit dice says 2d10. Yeah, so you have a total hit dice pool. Yeah, um, I only rolled one. Yeah, but that's your yeah. so your hit dice pool is for is two d ten. Yeah, okay. for your short rests, mm -hmm. but with your level up, I believe, hit dice per level. Yeah, one d ten per level. Yeah. So yeah, you roll the one dice as you level up, but you have for your short rest you have the pool of two d ten, and you get half of them back at a short. No, is it a long rest? Long rest. If that makes sense. Does that make yeah. sense? Fab. Uh, awesome. So, um, Ollie, James. Go on then. Going for, going for James. Right. Okay. Let me flip to the bard. Uh, so, uh, so first question for you really is, um, are you going to you, you take your average or are you going to, are you going to gamble? You know what's happening. You gamble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Join, gamble, join. gamble, gamble, gamble. It's always going to be. Is it a D six for a bard? Uh, it is a D eight, isn't it? D eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. D eight. Oh, fantastic! Here we go. In my other game, I'm a bard. Roll. Give me a good roll. It's a seven plus two, so hey, nine. that's good. Nine. Okay, so I'm gonna um... need it the way Serg is going. <laughs> <laughs> well, particularly with his lack of armor at the minute. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so if you head in, have you, I don't know if you've got the page open on D and D Beyond already. Um, you go to your character um, sheet, click on the bar, manage levels, manage character and levels. Yes. Um, so uh -huh. then, if you go to character details or character traits or what uh, class traits or whatever it is, I can't quite remember. We are uh, class features. features. Class features. That's the one. Manage HP. So yeah, bung that in there. And then I think you've got a few choices to make. So the question for you really, um, James, is whether or not you want to do it in secret away from these two or whether Ooh. or not you want to uh, let them witness your choices. Okay, stand by. I'm just figuring out the HP. You just put manage HP, right? And it's just rolled HP. Yeah, so if you, yeah, pop, pop me in what you rolled, and then you can put in some modifiers and things as well, I believe. Yes. You have to Hit put your modifier bonuses, in, it's annoying. Plus four from Constitution. I think it's already adding the... Oh, right, okay. Plus four? That doesn't sound right. No, you have to add in the modifier. It's really annoying. It doesn't do it automatically. Uh -huh. I see. HP modifier is a two. Yeah. Has that worked? Sure. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> uh, hmm. gonna... Maybe. Hit... I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out in a minute. I know what it's meant to be. Get hit by an unexpected arrow. And you're like, oh, I'm down. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe my HP didn't go in. We already have that episode. <laughs> Let's not oh, have yeah. any unexpected arrows to go with the very expected arrows. <laughs> we already have. <laughs> um, hey. So, yeah. So, James, do you want to... Do you want to do yeah, this in secret? Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll do it for everyone. Yeah, in the not? open? All right. Awesome. So, um, first of all, uh, before we get into the choices, as a bard, you get the jack of all trades, mm -hmm. meaning Great that skill. you can add half of your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check that you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus. That's very good. So, actually. basically, you get half proficiency on everything you're not proficient in, basically. So, plus one in everything I'm not proficient in. Pretty hey. much, yeah. Hey. And obviously that scales as as you level up as well. So that's pretty cool. Does being thrown by a magic hater count? <laughs> um well it's usually their ability check. Yeah, yeah. For throwing you rather than how well yeah. you can be thrown. Hey, I can do a terrible at throwing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible with a plus one. <laughs> um but you also on, get which is um very useful indeed, the song <laughs> of rest. Mm. Um, which means that you can use so your very soothing music, Sergei, um, <laughs> yeah, to help soothing. revitalize wounded allies during a short rest. So if you or any friendly creatures you, who can hear your performance regain hit points at the end 
of the short rest, um, gaining an extra 1d6. And that also very scales good. as you level up. So that's very handy. Which we definitely playing need. Your, playing your loot during mm. the rest. Nice. Um, but where the real interesting stuff gets is you get to learn an extra spell mm-hmm. from, your, <laughs> from the bard's spell list. Um, so it's either cantrips or a uh, first level spell. It's up to you. Got to be a first level um, spell. So you've got a lot of choice. Oh, I really do. Wow. You got have got oh, a lot word. of choice here. Um, I'm sure uh, Anina will be able to wade in if she wants to. Um, mm. On some suggestions. Do I already have a healing spell? I can't remember. I believe I think... you picked cure wounds. It should be on your character sheet on Beyond. So ah, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the choice of first level spells, because I imagine you're probably going to be more likely to go for one of them than a cantrip, mm. is um, animal friendship. Bane, oh, ho, ho. Charm Person, Comprehend Languages, Cure Wounds, which you already have, um, Detect Magic, Disguise Self, Dissonant Whispers, which I think you already have. I do, yes. Um, fairy Fire, which I also think you already have. Uh, no, actually, I don't no. have that one. Uh, Feather Fall, which you definitely already I have. I definitely already have, yeah. Healing Word, Heroism, Identify, Illusory Script, Long Strider, Silent mm-hmm. image, sleep, speak with animals, Tasha's hideous laughter, thunder wave, or unseen <laughs> servant. <laughs> That's a big Almost list to choose from. As though I'm being affected by the one spell that I really want to pick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the hideous laughter is really, really cool to me. Okay, I'm not familiar with Tasha's hideous laughter. Actually, I must admit. But also, I do love Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is a great spell. Thunder Wave is a fantastic spell. I'm also looking at Disguise Self. Also very useful. But I feel like so the smell from Sergei would kind of give himself away. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, in which case, mm-hmm. I... Do you know what? I don't really have many... Yeah, I might go with Disguise Self. I don't have many... Um... I've got a few damaging spells already, so... Okay. So you're going for more utility rather than... Yeah, let's go more utility. Let's go with Disguise Self. Awesome choice. There we go. That a Disguise Self, I find to be one of those early spells that mm. can massively dis- disrupt, in inverted commas, a game. Oh, I use way. it all the time. It's so all good. So good. All right. Yes. I think that's you then. Done. Lovely stuff. Um, Can you eat Metal Gear Solid and <laughs> disguise himself as a box? If I no. can't, I intend to. <laughs> it's not that good. That's yeah, cool. I don't think it is that good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but we will we will find out should uh, should the time come. Um, all right. So then that leads us nicely on to. Um, you, Johan. Hello. Because uh, we'll save Thoric for another time when we have him. Uh, so, hang on. There's, where's the rogue? Uh, that's the ranger. Ta-da. Sorcerer, rogue. Okay. So, first of all, uh, Ollie, mm-hmm. the big, big question. Mm-hmm. Do you take your average or are you going to gamble? I, I mean, feel like you I'd be. To. I know. I feel like I have to now. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a D8 for you. That would be a wimp. Plus your constitution modifier. <laughs> I don't like this peer pressure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I have my D8 at the ready. <sighs> it's a three plus. Um, my constitution which is plus two so that's five that's not terrible no it is not terrible that's not terrible Mm. (laughs) it's not amazing but it's not terrible no i mean i feel like it's thematic at this point yeah (laughs) we've got better but a little better only a little bit better 
Only uh, the kind of better you can get after being hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. So for you for level two then, um, you gain the cunning action. Yes. Uh, your sneak attack bonus is still 1d6, so that hasn't changed. But your cunning action you get, which uh, your quick thinking and agility allow you to move and act quickly. You can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. This action can be used only to take dash, disengage, or hide action. Well, that could be handy. Well, you've seen the goblins use it many a time. A si- mm. Well, a similar thing. It's not quite the same thing, but yeah. <coughs> you've seen the goblins use that too. I think quite good effect, actually, if I may say so myself. <laughs> disengage um, could be handy. Like, I can sneak and stab. Yeah, like, you want disengage, trust yeah. me. Disengage as a bonus action is like an absolute boon. So that's actually really, really useful. So I can stab and then disengage and then repeatedly just do that over and over. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so or you can, can hide. Yeah, or you can hide. hide. Yeah. So essentially what the um what the goblins have been doing to you, which wow. is like attacking and then running, um, you can now also do. But cool. the advantage that you have is you can also dash with it as well. Which is twice your movement, isn't it? Yes. Or is it, is it twice? Um, yeah. Cool. So it's a bonus action dash, which actually means, if I'm interpreting this correctly, it actually means that you can dash, which is using your full movement, plus then move. Sweet. Let me just double check. Yeah, you get double the wording your movement. Of dash. Yeah. 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 Cool. Because dashing is, a, a dashing is an action, so yeah, you basically double your movement mm. as a bonus action. Mm. I just like the idea. <laughs> the goblin's like, you dare use my own spells against me, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay, I think that's all of it then, isn't it? I think that's yeah. everyone. Okay, awesome. It's boogie. I, I respect your w- collective willingness to gamble your your lives away. There was no willingness. <laughs> <laughs> it's called entertaining an audience. Look it up. 